thank you for watching ASFN and you can't get used to views like this there's just something about water combined with nature which us as maybe not only us as anglers but us as anglers understand very very well this lures us back it's not just about the fishing um, or catching a fish fishing as a whole just the experience being outdoor and seeing what we see is very fortunate and something I think all of us as anglers would agree makes us quite fortunate now the reason I'm out today is a couple of smaller bass dams here in a state and it's also a very popular type of bass fishing nowadays with all the states and their little bass dams and stuff but the main reason is the Prorex drop shot rod arrived now there's two models this is the lighter model this is a 702 light, light fast spin comes in a little bag it's a two-piece obviously now this is both for salt water for estuary and for bass fishing I like a fantastic little rod now I'm sure you guys have heard about well you know about all the Prorex Pro products coming out but now the rods and reels are following the reels will be available soon and like I said this is a spinning outfit a seven foot and I'm going to match it up with a ninja that will be available the light and tough that will be available from this 3000 size 4000 5000 up to 6000 and on that I've put some uh, show you guys sunline basic for a carbon and that's a nice casting and very popular under the bass anglers as well which gives you that direct contact with your bait obviously makes the whole setup a bit more sensitive um, the density of fluorocarbon is the same as water which makes it invisible and it doesn't have the glare because the density of monofilament for instance is different than water it breaks up the light when it shines in with fluorocarbon having the same density it doesn't break up the light therefore it doesn't have that shine or that glimpse that a fish can actually pick up all right so that's the outfit and I'm using eight pound I decided to quickly come uh, come bring the whole drop shot outfit and do a couple of drop shot or a bit of drop shot fishing here to see if we can get a bass in actual fact I only came here once before and I haven't caught a bass in this dam yet we only spent a short while and got rained out uh, so this will be the second time I'm going to put a bait in this water and uh, the hook I got advised by Jesse Kingfisher Belito that he's had quite a bit of success on it's the mosquito hooks guys now the no introduction for the really finesse uh, rock and surf guys the peck shore angling or shore angling as they're known all over the world they use a very small one of this but the number one size Jesse reckons has really been good for him now obviously with drop shot you you you, fi you fight the fish a bit lighter you're using eight pound line and this hook is very thin guys now he, Jesse explained to me why he prefers this hook with the thicker wide gape hooks by pulling the fish it eventually because you're fighting a bit longer on, on eight pound it eventually works a little hole because it's a much thicker gauge now this thinner gauge hook literally hooks it sometimes he says in the teeth and it doesn't wiggle out that that uh, bigger hole than what the the wide gaps do so and it's a very thin gauge so this should slip into that fish so quickly you fish it the same as a circle hook you're basically just going to tighten up on that fish when you feel it and i'll show you guys now how we're going to rig that okay let me quickly put the line through the guides mm, hit the camera man I just pulled this reel so it's still jumping off okay guys now another thing you can do when fishing drop shot without using if you don't want to use your main line the whole time you can put a little swivel so the actual trace you tie is uh, not on your main line every time if you want to change but on the drop shot you hardly change so I'm more than happy to to do that what's in that bag sure actually don't want to know 
Okay, just a little drop shot sinker. I brought a very light one. Gonna put that on. It's an outfit. 30 to 40 centimeters is kind of the norm, depending on the dam. And you're gonna use a polymer to put the hook on. There's bubble boiling in the bag. That would be a good test on eight pound with this rod. Okay, now the polymer. Okay. There your hook's tied on. And a good way when you're using a swivel, you can make sure your line comes out the right side. But because it's got that little bend back there, look at that. Nice and proud with this hook. So you'll use a swivel if you're using a circle hook because you want the line to come out of the front of the hook which is your top line and that you'll tie to a swivel. Alright, baits wise. These lovely little baits are quite tough baits. Uh, the Pro-Rex smaller ones, the rubber. This is the Ghost AU Classic Shad 3 inch. Now this late summer normally when you bait fish your fodder is about this size and that's how you rig them okay simple onto the hook and that's how we're gonna fish it so let's see if this can get us a bite With drop shot you look for a brush pile or a, a pile of rocks or some structure in the water which you'll find with a fish finder or fishing from the bank if you know of a certain area for drop shot and you'll fish that area and you'll just use the tip of your rod like that to let that fish wiggle a bit that little bait oh, I thought I felt something until it takes you it will just take you down you just lift your rod and start reeling you don't have to strike those hooks. What's more fun than that? It's not a big fish, but still on the right tackle. Any fish is a good find. Hey, a wee little bass.
All right, guys, it's uh, proven. With this dirty water, the lighter colors work very well. And they heat it quite fast. That one stole my bait, so I just quickly put a new bait. Let's see. strain not complain <laughs> at least we're getting fish but now two fish were slightly bigger nicer fish which I could feel which we missed. All of these are nice and healthy. That first one, which was slightly bigger, had a couple of saws on, which was concerning. These ones look all right. The hungry little bears. That was very sudden. That's why I never give up till the end. I was almost ready to reel it in there. And he jumped on it. Let's see if we can do minimal damage there. There we go. It seems like the average size now in the dam. There was definitely two. There were two bigger fish. Um, which grabbed my bait and I was sleeping. But the majority of them are these smaller ones. Very, very effective way of fishing is, is the drop shot way for bass. I mean, I don't care if you do rocket surf, deep sea, what. I know every one of you have got a little bass rod or spinning rod. And nothing wrong with that. Hell of a lot of fun. These little green fish. Look in the ocean, we've got 200 species to target all different methods. But this one fish, you can target in 200 different ways in one day and still not catch one. That's how temperamental they sometimes can be. So it's so, such a good satisfaction when you do get some bass and you start getting some bigger ones. Awesome, look at that guys. Nice little bass. Ooh, don't drop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crazy dude. Bazinga. <laughs> you just mess up all the trash, you know? You could do a lot. 
The dam is full of these, so maybe, maybe there's a bit of an imbalance. And uh, there's different ways of handling that. If you want to sort out the dam. Yo, every cost now. This is a little rattler. So they shoot the bait up the line and then the rest twist. And we just move it down. So now you reel that in any case. See what happened, yeah. Okay, that's unfortunate. The nice time of the day. I just lost my last sinker. I brought a packet of hooks, but I only brought four drop shot sinkers. And at that first dam, I lost two already. So this dam has been better to me, but now the hook got stuck, so I lost everything there. But really enjoyable setup. And I can't wait to show you guys a proper big bass on it. It's only been a couple of small bass. And um, yeah, this is the start of our bass offering. We'll be on a more frequent basis bringing you guys some bass fishing which everyone enjoys doing at some time or another so not reducing our rock and surf guys before you start charting but we'll be adding some bass onto to our book on a weekly basis as well as some more deep sea so looking forward to that and looking forward to uh, in fact in two days we're going to take a nano on there's some been some really good bass so i'm looking forward to that and we'll be fishing with rob fisher going forward and with, a, with John from Lorraine's, so we'll be making a couple of programs and see what works. And I can't wait to get this little Prorex rod stuck into a bus. Now that's the whole objective. But guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, it really helps us. And like the videos, it also helps us. And uh, if you want notifications on every video we upload, push that little bell button. Thank you and see you soon.